the first time since 2010, the Minnesota Vikings drafted a golden gopher. Let's welcome in the, the, the newest Minnesota defensive lineman, Asezi Otomiwo. Did I nail your name? Did I get it right? I know we practiced beforehand. How did I do? You did perfect. I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm ready to uh, start and thank you for uh, getting it right. Yeah, no, we are so excited to have you here. I know that you just have to drive down the highway now to become, to, to fulfill your dream of being an NFL player. What does it feel like to kind of, I know you've talked about it already, but now that you've had a week to process it, just go down the road to start the dream. Um, it, it's, a, I'm not going to lie. Like, to be a Viking, it means a lot to me. Um, I watched the Vikings, like, growing up, and that, like, I watched the legends with the Vikings when it comes to Brett Favre and Adrian Peterson, and the fact that I'm a, I was a gopher and now I'm a Viking, it means everything to me. So I'm excited to get to work and um, show up on May 12th. Yeah, I'm sure you'll hear a lot about the purple people eater legacy around here as well. Obviously being in that defensive line room will be something special for you. Is there anyone in particular that you're really excited to meet and learn from? Oh, I can't wait to meet uh, Daniil Hunter. Um, uh, he, yeah, he's amazing. Um, I feel like all the D linemen in that room is um, like amazing D linemen in the league. So I'll love to like learn from them and to add on to my craft while I watch them and then, um, hopefully make an impact with the Vikings. Yeah, what do you think your first question will be to Daniil? Uh, I would say like, what what is your like off season workout process after? How do you carry on like um, throughout the season? How do you um, stay healthy after? What what are different things that he may do that I, that I don't do right now? So just like getting um, out of a rookie standpoint um, and just becoming a better and faster, I would say. Um, so I can be on my P's and Q's at that, um, just be as healthy as it can be at that, just like apply that to the game of football. You've got great size as a defensive lineman, 6'5", 285, and that's going to be very effective, obviously, in the NFL, being able to carry that forward and maybe even get a little bit bigger. But using that size and skill set, what, what, how can that help your play as you make your transition to the NFL? I would say um, using my size is like, I can line up a lot on the D line. I can line up to from three tech to five tech. I can also play outside into like um, a wide defensive end. Um, I, I just feel like I'm very versatile when it comes to positions, and like um, that will help out um, my situation not being just one dimensional. Um, being very versatile. Do you have a favorite part of the line that you prefer? Do you prefer being in the inside, or do you like being a more versatile? can do it all kind of guy? Uh, I prefer um, being a defensive end, uh, first and second down, but sliding down on third down would be, uh, I'll say, ideal, like playing three tech, but uh, wherever the coaches need me is really what, what matters. Um, and uh, I'll definitely apply myself in the best, um, I'll put my best foot forward, I would say. Uh, you came here for a top 30 visit. So you've been in this facility already. I know Kwesi referenced the song choice when he called you about being drafted. What are you most excited for rookie camp, knowing kind of a little bit about your bearings here already? Um, I would say um, me and the rookies, I have to get in tune with them. I have to um, just, you know, uh, working out with them. I have to see my teammates. I can't wait to get in the, on the practice field. I have to get to practice. Um, that's probably the most exciting thing as of right now. I have to, um, just learning the um, installs and just um, being a part of this team. You said you're from Indianapolis. You're there currently. You're obviously going to make your way up here for rookie camp next week. But I was reading an interview with you, and you said that Minnesota has felt like home since you arrived here as a Golden Gopher in 2017. What made Minnesota feel like home for you? I would say just the people, you know, Minnesota nice. Uh, I say everybody is just like kind. They're welcome. They're, they're welcoming um, with open arms. Uh, I, I, I really do enjoy uh, Minnesota. Um, even though it's cold and everybody doesn't like the cold, but I do love the cold. Um, I'm a Midwest um, baby. So, you know, uh, I think the adjustment won't be that bad. One last thing before you go, Asazi, I really want to get in your mind this last week. You obviously have worked so long and so hard to get to the point to be, to be drafted. What has the last week been like knowing that you accomplished that step, but obviously knowing there's like so much more out there for the taking. 
Um, it's um, it's a, it's definitely a milestone that I definitely um feel like I accomplished. But it's a lot more uh, milestones to accomplish as well. Um, especially on my agenda, it's there's different goals to um, pursue, and I, this ain't the only one that I feel like that is um up for the taking. You, I, if you feel what I'm saying. So I feel like it's a lot more to um do um in my career, and it's a lot more to prove. You have a lot of fans here in Minnesota as you make the transition from Golden Gopher to Minnesota Viking. Thank you so much to Asazia Tomowo for being here today. We can't wait to see you next week. Thank you.